Welcome. In this video, we will guide you through deploying a Backup Exec 16 virtual server in Azure. First of all, log into Azure using your account. Go to the Azure Marketplace and under the Storage category, search for Backup Exec. Select the Backup Exec 16 server. Review the details and then click Create to be taken to the configuration options for this virtual server. Enter the name for this new server. Enter the administrative username and password to use. For security purposes, administrator or admin should not be used for the username. Ensure that the password meets Azure requirements. Confirm the Azure subscription being used is correct. Create or select an existing resource group where this server will be created. The resource group is a logical container where servers are deployed and must exist before the server can be created. Confirm the location where this server should be deployed. Click OK when completed to be taken to the network settings. Review the virtual network and subnet information and amend if needed. Then select the virtual machine to deploy. Consider future requirements when selecting the size, although it is possible to adjust this later. We will select the medium size for this setup and demonstration. Confirm or create the storage account to be used. Storage accounts are used to associate resources for billing purposes. Click OK to be taken to the IP address settings and confirm whether to use a static or dynamic IP address. In this case, we will select static. Click OK to be taken to the summary screen. A brief validation will occur, but once this has completed and if all settings are correct, click OK to be taken to the Terms of Use screen. Review the Terms of Use and when satisfied, click Create to buy and deploy this virtual server. Deployment will start and will complete in a couple of minutes. When complete, the server will show up under the resources window and notifications will advise the deployment status. Go to the virtual machines option in the left menu to see the new server listed and validate the configuration. Controls for this virtual machine are available either as icons along the top or from the context menu for the machine name. Click the connect option for that machine to open an RDP connection. Enter the credentials used when you created the machine and you'll be connected to the virtual server, which will appear as any other remote server. We then open the pre-installed backup exec application. Note that this is configured in trial mode, which will allow 60 days evaluation, after which backup functions will stop. 
Valid licenses should be configured before then to allow continued functionality. Please review a later video to add storage and start running backups. That concludes this demonstration where we have shown you how to deploy a Backup Exec 16 server in Azure. Thank you for watching this video and look out for others in the future. Also, remember to visit our support pages at www.veritas.com/support for further information.